They are among those on the forefront of coronavirus testing, which is important to track the spread of the disease and has a direct impact on Ohio's economy. Tonight, a sneak peek inside University Hospital's new testing lab. Tonight, our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins, got an exclusive look inside the lab at the main campus. During his news conference, Governor DeWine talked about FDA approval of a new reagent to help increase testing capacity across the state. University Hospitals is one of those labs that will benefit as long as the reagent is the type that they need, because testing needs more than one kind. UH now has the ability to do three types of testing. The latest is a rapid test with total turnaround time in under an hour. It actually can give you a COVID result from um, up to from as soon as five minutes and as long as 15 minutes. UH labs can do about 500 COVID tests in a day with a steady supply of reagents, they hope to triple that amount, but also share the load. With more um, reagents and test kits available, then there are other hospitals and locations throughout the state or throughout the country that aren't able to do any testing at all right now that would then have the capacity. To more testing ability has often been linked to helping get the economy going. But just why is that so important when dealing with a virus? It will be really critical to make sure that anybody who has a suspicion of having coronavirus disease is able to get a test because then um, in conjunction with the public health authorities, we can do what's called contact tracing and see who that positive um, individual has been in contact with, monitor them for symptoms, get them testing more quickly, to really know how much disease is out there, where it is, and try to control the spread further. Meanwhile, it's Medical Lab Professionals Week, and these folks are also on the front lines of this pandemic. And these labs run nearly 24-7, because when they're not testing for COVID-19, they're still running those basic medical tests that we count on them for. So if you know a lab tech, now's the time to say thanks. Monica Robbins, 3 News.